Hello, my friends. It is Folded Club time. And let me just tell you, there is a special, well, actually technically two special little goodies in here for our Folded Club members. Now, if you are not a Folded Club member, wah, I see tears. You know why? Because you cannot buy this. This is exclusive to our Folded Club. Oh, what are you going to do? Oh, no. Are you ready? Get set. And let me just tell you, it is gorgeous. Here we go. It is called garden fence fold it and i just realized there's a typo on here isn't that a kick in the head and it is called garden fence uh it is officially called garden fence fold it thank you very much stephanie my mistake so it doesn't matter now let me just show you how amazingly awesome this fence is there's two ways to do this and there's stencils stay tuned there's two ways to do this number one and of course it's card size right it comes with the grass yes it does now there's two ways to do this number one is you die cut it out of white and you color it. Meaning you're using your watercolor pens, you're using your uh, tri-blend markers, your colored pencils, your any way you color, right? Great, awesome. Or, because I know there's some of you that love to color, but there's some of you that love to what I call paper piece. That's what we used to call it back in the day. And this is the way you paper piece it, meaning you die cut it out of a couple different colors. You trim the little tiny chads holding it all together because it'll hold together when you die cut it. But there's only a couple little spots you need to cut if you want to paper piece it like this. Two totally different ideas, completely look different when you're done. Both are fantastic. So let's look at these really quick. Here's number one. See that cute grass? You got your fun little um, fence in the back. Oh, I should show you the stencils first, right? Now, remember I said two little extra goodies in here. Yes, there are two free stencils in here for all of my Fold It Club members. Are you ready? It is an amazing sunflower Fold It set. Now, you get three different stencils just to make the sunflowers because we're wanting to layer those, right? We're going to want to make them really awesome. And I'm gonna show you how awesome it is. The other one is perfect. It's a wood grain. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is a wood grain to add to the fence if you want to, or add it to the barn. You can add it to anything, but look at that awesome wood grain. Isn't that fantastic? And I am gonna show you the stenciling of the sunflowers. now. So you're getting four stencils in here. Normally, you're gonna get two, right? I gave you two extra because that sunflower, how in the world? Now, technically, I could have just done one part here, one part here, one part here, and given you one stencil for the sunflowers. No, 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 no. I wanted you to have the whole sheet so you could make a whole bunch of sunflowers at once. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first, let's go ahead and look at our gorgeous samples from our design team. Here's a cute one, Bunches of Love to You. Isn't that pretty? The sentiment is from the basket to stamp set. Open that up. Look at that wood grain on the inside. Isn't that fantastic? I know, it's beautiful. Here is another one, Hello Pumpkin. Love that. That's from Wagon to Stamp with the cute little pumpkins added to the bottom. You're going to be adding a lot of different things to this. So this one didn't add anything, but just some twine and a little saying. This one had our cute little pumpkins from our back end truck set. Uh, or I'm sorry, that one's from Wagon to Stamp. Then, oh, look at this one. This is the more vintage look by Yvette. Look at how pretty that is, purple and pinks, because it doesn't have to be a sunflower if you don't want it to be. Look at how gorgeous that is. She added, some, oh, also another person that used the wagon to stamp, stamp and die. So make sure you go check those out if you don't have them. But there's our wagon back there full of pumpkins. Love that one. Or you can use our garden bunny. Look how cute our garden fence goes with our garden bunny. How perfect, right? Watering the grass and watering the flowers, pouring out my love for you. Isn't that a gorgeous? Oh, there you go. Wood grain again. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. I love it. Here's another one. Oh, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this one. Perfect. Uh, Cheryl did this one because we have a lot of 3D ink on here. Lots of color. I mean, lots of... Uh, paper piecing on this one and a little bit of extra coloring on this one. Or, so this is the shaped card, right? Our Folded Club is a shaped card set. It's a shaped card die set, right? And looks awesome. But you can also put it on a five by seven card because these are A2. This would be a five by seven card. Look how awesome it fits on there. So we got our little picnic basket, our little doggy from the Steffi set. Look at how gorgeous that is. Isn't that fantastic on a five by seven? But wait, my friends, there's more. Because what if you wanted to make a mini slimline? 
Huh, look at this. Just use the flowers. Right? I know, look at this. So we're just using the flowers on our mini slimline. Oh, there's our fun stencil in the background. I can't wait to show it to you. There is the stencil, but only using one of the layers. So there's lots of options on this one. Now, here we go. Last but not least, another one just using the flowers, but on an A2 card. So we have lots of options. We have a shaped card, A2. We have just the flowers on A2. We have the whole thing on five by seven. And then we also have just the flowers on a mini slimline. What if you want to do a regular slimline? Easy peasy, just add more flowers. I know, so, so versatile. And that's the whole thing, you guys. I always want it to be very versatile, so you're gonna use it over and over and over and over again. But I need to show you this stencil because it's gonna knock your socks off. Now, again, if you're not in the Fold It Club set, Fold It Club, you need to join ASAP to get in on this one. If you don't join this month when this is released, you won't get it, and that's really sad, right? So here we go. What we're gonna do is I have my a magnet board. I'm gonna, this the blue is just scratch paper, so if I go on my magnet board, I'm laying down my, usually I wouldn't die cut it, I already die cut this one, but you, I'm gonna lay that down right there so it holds it down. Then I'm going to get my flower stencils. What you're gonna do is there's three flower stencils. So we have the wood grain, right? Wood grain, but these we're gonna use. So you have three, one, two, three. What we're gonna do is start with the largest, then go to small. So here, I'm gonna lay this down. Now, keep in mind, my friends, this is a full five, over five by seven. So the image spot is even more than five by seven, right? So you are getting, look at this. That's, look at that, that is what? Five and a half inches across. And I have my backwards ruler, so it's kind of hard to tell. And what is that? Seven and a half inches long. So you're getting a lot of stencil here. So I'm just gonna lay this down. Let's put that down right there. First things first, you are gonna use yellow. So that's the lightest color, that's the biggest one. So we're gonna lay this down. Now I'm using banana and I am going to add some extra magnets to my, whoops, to my stencil. I also hold it down because I figure, hey, better safe than sorry, right? So I just hold it down and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to add some banana to these cute sunflowers. Now, I could even get more fancy, and you know what? I might just throw everybody off and do this because this is really cool. Now, I'm not gonna do the whole stencil because this is just to show you how cool it is, but we're getting that on there, and I am gonna come in with a different yellow. Watch this, watch this. I did really already use the darkest. Ooh, let's come in with a little bit of orange, marigold. Marigold is a pretty orange, let me tell you. Oh, let's get our orange brush. And marigold is a very pretty orange, which, you know, you don't hear me say that very often, right? So I'm gonna get a lot of the ink off, and I'm just gonna go around some of, a little bit of them, right? I'm just gonna kinda add a little tiny, see how I'm just adding a little tiny bit to different sides? I just wanna give these a little tiny bit more definition, right? I wanna give it a little bit more interest. I'm just adding a little. There's no wrong way to do this. I'm doing it on either side, doesn't matter. I'm just adding a little bit on each one just to add kind of some more excitement here. There we go, look at that. Now, I am going to use my hinge up here at the top and check, right? We always wanna check. Oh, look how pretty that is. Perfect for suns, right? That could be suns, we could be done. Now, I'm gonna lay that back down. Also, I want you to notice with these layering stencils, you need to make sure our logo, the Stamps of Life, is at the bottom and you can read it. If you cannot read it, that means it's backwards. I need you to flip the stencil over so they all line up, okay? There we go, boom, that's stencil number one. Then we are gonna come in with the next one. I am going to use a lighter brown not the largest, not the dark brown, a lighter brown, and I'm going to line this up. I'm gonna take a second, and I'm gonna get those circles centered. Now, remember, I didn't do this exactly. There we go, let's see, let's get that centered. There we go, doesn't that look good? You can see through the stencil just enough to center that, add our magnets. And now I'm gonna come in with a light, um, yeah, a light brown. So this is gonna be Ginger Snap, and check our brush, good. Check our brush, let's see. I always, gingerbread, gi I'm sorry. Ginger snap is always the one I have to add more to. So let's get some ink in there. 
Let's lay our ink in there. Now it might look like I'm not doing very much, but don't worry, we can always lift it up to check and then we can add more if we need to. And because this one is so light, this is the one I, I must use ginger snap the most because I end up refilling this one the most. So let's get that on there, add some more. There we go. And this one's gonna be a little lighter because I have the accent marks to add to it as well. Now don't forget you guys, these don't have to be sunflowers. These could be pink flowers, they could be purple flowers, they could be any color flower. Now, I'm not sure I have enough brown, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to check my hinge. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that, that is perfect because it's just soft enough. Although that one needs more. You didn't know you were getting a stencil uh, tutorial in this video, did you? I didn't either, <laughs> I'm just kidding. There we go, so we added a little bit more. Now we're gonna come in, look at that. So I'm gonna check it, looks good, nice and soft. Look how pretty that is. Now I'm gonna come in with my darker brown, this is twig, and I'm going to use this. Again, I'm gonna to check to make sure the stencil is right side up, with make sure I can read the name. And I'm gonna, now, I could leave it just like that, right? Totally could, nope, I'm gonna add a little bit more and we're gonna line these up. These are more whimsical lines. Line it up a little better. That looks good, right uh, there. And we're gonna drop our magnets down. Now we're gonna use the darker brown, and this is a really darker brown, so we're just gonna go in and add our little hash marks kind of thing, right? The little extra pieces. There we go. Look at this, you guys, this is so fun. Now, remember, you're getting the two free stencils in here. The cool thing, though, is these dots, you could just make this its own pattern, right? You could do each one, they're far enough away from each other, you could do each one in a different color to make your own background paper, right? Or you could use this one to do a whole bunch of suns or make them flowers using just these two with different colors. Lots of ideas here, right? So now, I can't wait to see what you guys make. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this up, double check it, oh my goodness, isn't this beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Look at all the different colors I have in there. So I added my yellow, I added my light brown, my ginger snap, and then I have a little bit of marigold in there. Isn't that so pretty? I know, it's awesome. So my friends, Fold It Club members, we're getting our Fold It Club shipments out to you as soon as possible. If you are not in the Fold It Club, you need to join. If you join, you get a, um, a die set that's free for joining. And it's tw I think it's a $24.99 value for free, just for joining. The monthly commitment on our any of our clubs is only three months. So after three months, if you feel like it's just not you're just not feeling it, which is never gonna happen, but if it does, you can cancel. But chances are you're gonna fall in love and if you stay in a full year on your anniversary month, you get a $15 gift certificate to our website. It's just our way of saying thank you. And for example, on this one, you got two free stencils. So we like to spoil you, give you some extra goodies and have some fun. So make sure you check out our website, thestampsoflife.com and click on join the club and just watch that video. It's gonna give you an explanation of all our different clubs. You can be a club member for as little as $13.99 a month and that includes a brand new stamp set each month. So we have lots of different clubs, lots of different options and if you join any of our clubs, you get a 15% discount off of our entire website, every single order, every single item, every single day. Wait, what? Yeah. So as long as you're on any of our clubs that start as low as $13.99 a month, my website is a sale every single day. Every single item, every single order, every single day, as long as you're a club member, 15% off. But then there's people that get 20% off. Every single dot, every single day, every single item, every single day. If you want to find out more, go to our website, thestampsoflife.com, because you could get 20% off as well. See you soon. Bye-bye.
thank you so much for watching. Now, make sure you subscribe to our channel right below us here so you don't miss out on any of our videos. You'll also have the option to click the Shop Now button or check out some of these other videos that we have on YouTube because you know what? You're going to love them. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.